Hey guys, Drew with Goose Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. We're at the Orlando Convention Center for the fun show. Showed up a few days early. Now we're here to buy some coins. Let's take you along with us. All right, Case, what do we gotta accomplish at this show? Sell some coins, what? Sell some coins, buy some coins, submit some coins. What you drinking, man? It's not sponsored by Dr. Pepper, but ice cold. All right, guys, so we just got to the north side. We just picked up our early bird badges, and uh, this is my early bird badge from 2021. So. Definitely uh, lost some weight, look good, look a little better for sure, happier, healthier. Uh, but we uh, just got in, it's about an hour and a half until the doors open. And what's the goal of the fun show mainly? The goal of the fun show is to out with the old and with the new. So a lot of dealers, they don't go to shows for a month or two before this. They bring all their old inventory here and it's relatively fresh to other dealers that are working with them. And then they go and find newer coins, coins that would excite their customers more. And so we've, you know, set aside a big double row box of higher end coins this whole year. You guys ne weren't necessarily interested in those and we'll just switch them out for something else. So um, it's gonna be a good show. Hopefully we can take you along, talk to a few dealers and uh, buy a few coins. Kind of a tough break, uh, selling on Facebook sometimes. Yeah. All right, guys, so we bought two points so far, bought a nice 1914D Lincoln scent, and also bought uh, just a Rattler, just for you guys to check out. Also sold a coin to Ben, which is cool, so just dealer to dealer, and uh, just waiting for the doors to open. We'll see how it goes. Ready to drop off some coins also. We ended up selling a lot of coins last night to uh, a bigger auction house, so uh, definitely a great start to the trip. So a good while ago, about a year and a half ago, we ended up showing you guys a 1907 high relief $20 gold piece. It was graded proof 63, and we had a dealer that showed it to us, and it was one of our most popular videos on our channel. And tomorrow, we're gonna end up buying a 1907 high relief in AU55 CAC. For us, it's kind of a, a dream coin for sure because you know when you start selling coins, you don't think of yourself as someone that can ever be able to buy an expensive coin, and then. Now we're just able to buy it, have it as inventory, show you guys, and it's a good way to start the fun show because we got it for a good price, and uh, honestly love the coin. It's probably one of my favorite gold coins of the whole series. And uh, yeah, let's get to the fun show. All right guys, so we're at the fun show, and we're here with Mike from Bar Harbor Coin, and he wanted to show us two interesting coins at his table. What coins do you have to show us, Mike? Well, the first one, uh, I presumably it's the finest known. It's an 1888s. City Liberty Quarter in Mint State 68. It's a phenomenal example of a coin from that era. Uh, not only because of the technical aspects, but because of how aesthetically beautiful it is. And if you can close in on there, try to give you an idea of how pretty this is. Yeah, it looks like it has some nice rim toning and I really enjoyed the luster of the coin also. You know, it has that beautiful gemmy luster to it. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful and um, it's a great coin and this is the type of thing that I try to pursue. And on the other side of it, again another quarter, is on virtually everybody's want list. If you've been in the hobby for any length of time, a 1916 quarter is really high on everybody's want list. And I always try to have one or two of them in stock and they don't hang around very long, but it's a great coin a radical departure from the previous series, which was the Barber series. And imagine being back in time, it's 1916, and you have these very insipid designs, and all of a sudden, this pops onto the scene. And it just, it reeks of just, to me, patriotism, strength, uh, and it really talks about what America's ideals were at the time, and yeah. hopefully still are. And with the Type 1s, it was kind of controversial because of the design, especially moving from the Barber series to uh, almost an open breast type of coin before they moved to the Type 2. So it's not only a low mintage, but was circulated quite rapidly once they made them too. So well, having... but, yeah, but again, for a brief time in, in 1917, right, they continued with a, a similar design. 
Um, but then they had to put chain mail on it because it was such a hue and cry from the public uh, because of that bare-breasted variety. So uh, they went to chain mail, which was appropriate at the time because we were girding ourselves, obviously, for World War I. Uh, Wilson said that he would keep us out of the war, but we knew that there was a different outcome. And uh, these are just two coins in, a, in an entire universe of numismatics. And there's literally thousands, if not millions, of coins to captivate the person that's looking to collect. It's just a wonderful hobby. And for everybody that's out there that has already started their journey or is about to, have fun. It's a hobby. And um, make the most out of it. Share it with your children, with your loved ones, your friends. And uh, it's just a very rewarding enterprise. And uh, it'll take a lifetime and you still won't be able to complete it. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Mike, for talking with us. If you uh, don't mind, tell us how can we get a hold of you or uh, where can we see your coins at? Um, even though I'm old and I'm a dinosaur, uh, you can get a hold of me by phone, uh, area code 207-801-1204. You can contact me, Mike, at barharborcoin.com. And I do have a website, which is barharborcoin.com. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys. So we just got back to where we're living in Orlando, and we just wrapped up day two. Not really a lot of great coins out on the floor to buy, personally. It's just a little review for you. And we ended up buying about five coins this show so far. Just coins that we really are passionate about, we really like, that we're going to offer to you guys on AcousticCollectibles.com. Not sure when they're going to be up, probably next week when this video airs. But one of the coins, like we were talking about earlier in this video, that we're really passionate about uh, and been wanting to buy for years is this 1907 Wired Edge High Relief $20 St. Gaudens. Uh, you know, just how nicely the coin was struck, how deep the coin was struck. And, you know, the cool thing about this coin is that it's circulated. It's AU55, it's CAC approved. Um, and, I don't know, I think that there's a nice even spread between AU to Mint State. Mint State, you're paying north of, you know, you're paying 20000 or more for a Mint State coin. For AU coins, you could pay... 11,000, 10,000, all the way up to maybe 15,000. So it's rather more affordable in AU. And I'm very happy that it's CAC also, just because we have a lot of clients that like coins that are CEC approved. It may not be for everybody, that's okay. But let's take some time real quick. Let's show you guys these five new purchases. We hope you enjoy them. All right, guys. So the first one I want to show you is this 1907 High Relief Wired Edge. Just a really nice coin. Has some rim bumps. On it, as you can see, uh, over towards 10 o'clock and also towards 5 o'clock. I'm sorry, towards 3 o'clock there. Getting my time mixed up. Um, but we ended up talking to John Albanese today, and he said, hey, that's pretty common, especially, you know, for some circulated high reliefs. We ended up passing this because if it was in a 64, we probably would have held it back. But there is a story to this coin. It didn't just go come from the mint and was preserved. It actually had some circulation to it. So he said that's just completely fine for the coin which is pretty cool. I love the surfaces of the coin. I'm probably just going to stare at this coin for an hour tonight because I just love it so much. And I uh, hope you guys love it too. Just a fantastic piece of history. Next coin I want to show you is this 1879 proof C uh, proof trade dollar. Excuse me. Great, right, proof 45, which is pretty cool. Most of the time you see proof 61s, 2s, and some in cameo, but not a lot of circulated ones out there. And... This one's just not the prettiest, so when there's a hit or a scratch or anything that might be on a proof, it's just so much more, you know, in your face in, in terms of uh, how it may affect eye appeal. When you're looking at more business strike type of stuff, it often kind of disappears into the background because there's intense amount of luster. But with this one, it uh, not the prettiest one, but definitely very affordable for that spread. You're not paying, you know, twenty five hundred or three thousand. You're paying about half of that for this. Some more common coins here. This is 1914D. We uh, bought this coin because uh, we have a friend. His name's Ben. We already showed you guys this coin earlier in this video, but it has a nice chocolatey brown color to it. And uh, can't go wrong with a 14D, especially when it's affordable. 43S. Needs a little touch-up on the holder. Just buff it out a little bit. But, you know, make 5 10 bucks, Keep somebody interested. Have them develop their uh, Rattler set. And that'll all work out. 
And the last color I want to show you is this 1920 SOQ. So it's got some nice color on the obverse, like a pinkishness to it. Great Mint State 64. And it has a lot more pink and red. Something just interesting about this coin. So it's tough to find SLQs with color, so I wanted to show this one off. It may be hard to pick up with this lighting, but uh, definitely a nice pickup. Hope you guys enjoyed these. All right, guys, so it's 11.30 here. We just got back from, like, our third day of the fun show. Uh, overall, like we said, not a whole lot to buy, but we want to wrap up this video. We have a ton of interviews coming out with a lot of great coins and a lot of great dealers that you guys are going to want to get to know, understand, and uh, learn a little bit more about their business. I hope you enjoyed Mike's interview in this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the coins and the dealer that we got to talk with. And uh, subscribe. Got more videos coming out every single week. We want you to be a part. See you guys in the next video. I'm going to go to sleep now.